Well, hello all my model car building buddies. This here is Model Cars with Glenn. I'm Glenn, and you knew that. Okay, uh, let me see. What is first, second, and third? First, I guess I will update you on Grammy. She won't leave. She's in jail still. She was only in for a week. She's been in there for two. They've tried to run her out. She won't leave. She says she owns the place and everybody in it. I think she's just getting them back for putting her there in the first place, but I ain't getting involved in it. Uh-uh. Anyway, that's up. what's up on Granny. Uh, there'll be updates on it, I guess, if they ever, if she ever gets out of there. Okay, now let me move this to show you my brother's picture. This is Don's picture, and it's pretty cool. I like it. It's nice. Got some really nice, oh, flashlight. No, it's on. The really nice uh, sunset there, and the colors in the sky are just really, really pretty. And I like the waves, too, rolling in past that island and stuff. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, now I got to move on a little bit. Uh, let me see. What's next? Oh, the band. Oh, my God. The band. Uh, everybody's doing pretty good. They're learning new tunes. Uh, I needed to make a set of drums for Ted. And this is what I come up with. It's it's a drum. They're drums. They'll drum. And But I told Ted, I said, you need to help out a little bit, buddy. You need to make the snare drum. I should have known better. Because this is what he came up with. Yeah, it's a snare on a drum. I don't even know how that's supposed to work, man. I think maybe Rabbit would jump up there to get the carrot and and uh, <laughs> hang himself or something. I don't even know. He'd probably land up there and then beat him with the drumsticks. That's a, <laughs> a snare. What an idiot. Yeah, anyway, at least he tries. He tries. Okay, okay. now next I'm going to show you this, uh, how I do a real quick one, how to make shroud lines for your uh, drag chutes. Now, you can use, I use this, this is what I like to use, it's because it's handy, but you can use like a board with a couple of pins in it, or styrofoam with a couple of toothpicks in it, or whatever, you know, that you can wrap these around, but you want to make sure you make it long enough to go from the chute under the car and old timey cars to the rear end new timey cars to the frame that's where you mount it now i got this ring here see like that now i'm gonna slip it i gotta get it on the on the strings here and then bend it back i can't do that in front of the camera because i have to use both my hands okay and I loosen this up and get it on that side. I think my string here has come loose. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Now, I'm going to pause because the next step is tie this in. Wrap string around it and tie it. And then not this end, though. Just this end. So I'm going to pause this for a second and I'll be right back. Okay. I have tied a piece of thread around this. And I got the ring out here. I just loosen this. Pull it off of that. Set that out of the way. Now, I need to pull this one string a little tight. Yeah. There. And now I push this knot all the way up like that. Okay, pretty much got that end. Oh, sorry. There's that end. Now this end, you just got to put a drop of glue on it. I use uh, tube glue. Get a little drop tube glue on there, and then I spin it between my fingers back and forth, get the glue worked in. Also, to make it to a point. You want it to come to a point. Because, here's what you do now. You got to take your drag chute, and I cut a little notch right out of it, and then I drilled a hole through the notch. And then, this goes in there where, where the glue thing, and there you got it. This will hook to a tab, like I said, to the rear end or to the frame. That's pretty much it right there. That's all there is to it. There ain't no more. Okay, now I got that took care of. Uh, I, I need a backup plan. 
I tell you, you know, for when I do these uh, tips, I need a backup plan in case something don't go right. You know, it's always good to have a backup plan for everything. Mine, one of my favorite ones is if I ever fall out of a skyscraper way up high and I'm falling ah down to the ground, I'm not going to do like they do in the movies and just wave my arms and legs and scream and everything like they do in the movies. I'm just going to strike a pose. I just, I'll just freeze in a solid pose because I just know for a fact that somebody down on the ground is going to go, hey, hey, over here, free mannequin. Get it. Free mannequin. Anyway. Oh, yeah, you guys like that. I know you did. I can hear the silence. Uh, let me see. Oh, I have a kit review and unboxing of what I feel is the greatest kit of all time. Yep, it is the double dragster kit. It's back. It's at Spotlight. As soon as I seen it, I said, oh, send me one. I gotta have one. Uh, I've got I've got a few of the older older issues, but this is a newer issue. It's the same. But, uh, oh my God, is there so much stuff in here. You could build this, this cool side-by-side -side engine, two small block Chevys with front mount blowers, or you know, three different ways you can build the Fiat. Yeah, more than that, really. That's just three, you know. Over here on this side, you can build a rail with a Hemi, blown Hemi, or a rail with two inline uh, V8s, or a rail with two side-by-side -side V8s. Or a full body rail with a blown Hemi. Or a full body rail with, uh, what is that, ram tubes on top. And another streamliner with fuel injection. Here's a picture of your motors. Big V8 with eight carbs or blown. Either way, you can do it a lot, a lot of different stuff. Now, I know it's awesome, isn't it? In my opinion, and this is just my opinion, this is the best kit of all time. Yes, it is. It's my favorite number one kit of all time. Look at the... Here, let me turn this flashlight off. Look at the chrome. Uh, these wheels, these these are my favorite wheels, too. And these spoke, 12 spokes, beautiful. And we got all these exhausts for however many engines you want to make. Rail front axle. Oh, my God, just so many parts. Lots of wheels. And it takes over here for the small black Chevys. Let me put this over here. And guess what? Another rack of wheels. Back wheels and front wheels. I'm telling you, these are the coolest wheels ever. Okay, next is another one. This is uh, another chrome tree. This one's mostly for the Fiat. Those are the Fiat front radius rods and moon tank, rear end cover, Hemi. Got some cool uh, moon discus and a grill. Eight carbs. And uh, oh, these are controls for inside the cockpit. And some more headers. Can't have too many headers. We have glass in both blue and clear. And I really like this blue one, too. I've got a rail built already. With this on, I may switch it out and put that on it. Next is a big old bag of tars. Nice slicks and they're printed. They got the they got the name and the time and the manu the size written on them. Tires. Let me see. Now comes now comes a mess of parts. And when I say a mess of parts, I mean it. We have two drag rail frames. Not just one. Two. This one is for the side-by-side -side Hemis, I mean the side-by-side -side small blocks, and this one is for whatever else, the long two, two in a row or whatever, you know. But, wow, lots of extra stuff there. I love extra parts. That's my deal, man. Okay, this is Fiat parts right here. There's a Hemi heads, scoop, uh, drive belt, oil pan intake, bell housing you can you can you can do the blower or you can do the eight one barrels there's a rear wheel wells roll bar parts front end yeah belly pan 
I'm telling you, there is a lot of stuff in here. Here's another rack of wheels. Oh, these are the... Excuse me. These are the center lines. Pretty cool center lines. And this is the body for the streamliner. Nice. Here's a Fiat. I love this Fiat body. One of the best one of the best dragster bodies of all time. There's so much you can do with this, so many ways to build it. So cool. Oh, I'm not done. Another part to the streamliner. I think this is the belly pan. Here's oh, check this out. This is a mess of motors right here. It's bell housing and all kinds of blocks. And, and this is for the side by side ones. This is for the inline ones. Bunch of heads there. All kinds of axle parts. You'll have extras. There'll be extras. If there's one thing I like, it's extras. Here's the hood. And here's the chassis, which will work on so many different cars. If you get that parts pack, 20, uh, 23T bucket parts pack, this will fit that. And all the parts to it. Next, we have the best instruction. I mean, a decal sheet I've seen in a while. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Look at all the flames, man. I love those flames. They're very well done. There's the, Fiat, the Ferocious Fiat AA. And some contingency and sponsor decals. The Streamliner Motor City Dragway. All kinds of cool decals. A lot of them are vintage, too. I, I had these on my bicycle on the front fender back in the day. You know which day I'm talking about. That one way back when I was a kid and I ride my dinosaur to school. Yeah, I know. I'm old. Let me get these instructions out of the box, which are stuck in the bottom. You know, I was talking a while back. Here, let me get rid of this. I was talking a while back about instruction art. Look at that. That is beautiful instruction ah. art. art right. What is it, baby? Man, when she gets upset, she just gets upset. Is my sweetie pup? Here, I'll set you down. I don't know what it wants, but it wants some. All right. Let me get on the back of this real quick. Here's a, here's a, this is in color too. Several different ways to build your rail. Suggestions. And, oh. There's several different ways to build your rail. Several different more ways for the rail. And there's a the little Fiat. Different ways to paint it and stuff. And here's the instructions for the motors. One motor, two motor, two side by side. This is cool kit. This is one of the best kits of all time. And I'm not lying. I mean, you can do so much with it. Besides just besides just Leave it in the box wrapped up and put it on the shelf. You know, they are for playing, I mean, building. <laughs> I almost said playing with. I would have got a lot of hate mail for that. But you know what I'm talking about. That's the axles. Whoo, what have I been working on? You ask? I'll tell you. If you give, give me a second. I also got a shop card shout out. This, this <laughs> woman's still running around waiting for that mannequin to hit the ground. A free mannequin. All right. This is the Henry J. I know. The body is not glued on it or setting on it. It's, it's just there. And up until now, this front end sit, fit really good. Closed up just like that. Let me get this flashlight on. Ah. Flashlight. Yeah. I'm going with silver because I like silver, and I think silver looks good on this car. It shows off the body, and uh, it shows off the body lines. Yeah, the doors don't open because I don't want them to open. I, I I don't I don't play with them. I just build them and, and set them up. You got to have the hood to open though. This one works good. The flip works good on it, and it, and it sits down in place pretty good. You have to mess with a little bit see that it's it's not bad this kit 
Now, I'm going to move this body, and I'm going to show you underneath. I changed out the spindly front end that come with the kit, though. I'm sorry, but I want to use that. The reason I changed it out, not because it wouldn't be good under here, but because I want to use it on a 23T bucket. Just it's just a good front end to use on a on a on a T bucket rat rod. I couldn't I couldn't resist saving it for that. So I made an axle put under here. Also using the traction bars from one of those uh, uh, el eliminators. Okay, I got a shop card shout out for Mars Garage. Love Mars, man. He's such a cool dude. I just went over and watched one of his uh, videos that he did. I think it was yesterday or something. Pretty good. Let me get a drink of coffee here. I'm getting dry mouth. Whew. Okay. Yeah, this is Mars Garage. Love this guy. He needs some scribes and he needs some comments and some love and some views and some likes. So, it's good. You'll love him. Go over there and check it out. You'll like him. He, he's a really cool dude, and he builds a good model. And I thought he gave me two cards, but he didn't. This one says decal, which I'm assuming is sticker. But look at the handwriting. Look at that handwriting, man. This cat has got some beautiful handwriting. I'm telling you. Yeah, I can't show you the ones he put on the back of the... And thank you, Mars, for the kind words, by the way. Uh... Yeah, nice handwriting, dude. What is next? What is next? Oh, stash hats. Oh, my God. One of them was that double dragster kit that I did the unboxing on. This. Ha, 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 ha. Midget wrench. Although, although they prefer to be called little cars now. Uh, I don't think midget is such a politically correct term anymore. Just call them little cars. But I got this. It's, it's from Atlantis, and it's. It's real. It's real. Uh, it's a reissue. I mean, it's just come back out, but it's of an old kit, and it is sweet though. I, I'm. I, I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. Why I got it. You know, midget racers ain't exactly gassers or pro streets or customs or anything like that. But you, you'll see. You'll see. I got it for a reason. I did. I got it for a reason. And this, I got to move. Uh, Whirly jigger out the way, because this is a big box. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, I'm not even going to get it all in the picture. Maybe if I set it way back here. Okay, yeah, I can do it like that. Auto transport trailer. I know you're thinking, Glenn does semis? No, Glenn don't do semis. I would if I had the room for them. I love semis. This going to be a Mad Max vehicle. Uh, Tim Throttle Power did a video about, a, I don't know, maybe a year ago, where he found one of these things off all in the rusty, out in the weeds, and he was saying it would make a good uh, reference material for making one of these rusty, and it got me to thinking, wow, that would make an awesome Mad Max vehicle. Yep. I have all big old stack of parts that I've collected from here, there, and the other place. And I just got this. This is the last thing I needed. And I'm fixing to build the coolest Mad Max vehicle ever in portions. I, I, I'll give you a little a, a little update on it on each on each video. But yeah, you're gonna love it. Uh I don't got it. I got models to show you, but I don't got any more time, man. I'm already at 19 minutes, and most of y'all have probably already tuned out. So. <coughs> I'm just going to set this up here. <coughs> Excuse me a bunch. And I'm going to say love you guys. Uh, all my subscribers. All my watchers. All my people. Everybody. And uh, I'd like if you would give me a subscribe. And a comment. And hey, that like button. Just got to eh, eh, like that. Just, just, just a little. Eh, just like that. And touch it. And it'll give me a like. And that's not hard. Come on, man. What's the matter with you? Need some medicine? Okay. Well, I'm going to go and get before this hits 20 minutes. And I will see y'all later. Bye.